Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the last exhibition match for today, which is going to be between Marquis and North Chilean G. Marquis starting out immediately with Jump Bot Factory, which is going to be against North Chilean G, who went immediately for the Heavy Tank Factory. So Marquis early puppy rush. I mean, this is a bit weird to go for Jump Bot on this factory, not oh, sorry on this map. Red Comet's not the biggest map in the world, but it is still a flat map that tends to favor vehicles. North Chilean G with the Kodachi, with the Heavy Tank Factory, starting out with a bit of early harassment, which is not atypical, while Marquis, like I said, starting out with the early puppies, which is kind of atypical. We'll see how it goes, though. I think Marquis doesn't have much to contend with at the moment. Metal Extractor here, puppies, I don't... Yeah, they deal enough damage. They will kill a Metal Extractor. They won't kill a Kodachi, though two will. And actually, that's more than the cost. Marquis is expecting North Chilean G to have gone to the typical northeast start, which is not the case. They are instead going to the typ the less typical center start, which is where Marquis themselves started. It's probably actually... Ooh, no, it didn't really make a difference. I thought it might have helped, but it really didn't because a solar plant's going to... Oh, no, nah, solar plant's going to get hit. Puppy was totally insubordinate. You just saw that right there. Went for the attack order on the metal extractor, but decided, nope, I'm going to go for the solar collector. Would have been a dead metal extractor. That really would have been. That was really unfortunate for Marquis. But hey, North Chilean G has basically lost nothing. So at this point, economy is about the same. North Chilean G looks like... Are they getting... Where are they getting that going to? Okay, they're basically building around. Bit of an odd pattern they're taking. They're going down here into this little alcove in the southeast. And then going up the center to the northeast. That's pretty much entirely backwards to how it's typically done. Placeholder coming in here. Ooh, this is clever. Heavy tanks typically don't have a whole lot of units being used, so having a placeholder out... I mean, you either want that for a small number of units to deal with quickly, or have clumped up units. Mostly clumped up units, but if there's only a couple units, they are going to probably be more or less clumped up. So the placeholder would work fairly well against this. Although, to be perfectly honest, this entire opening is rather unconventional. Just even going jump bots, and then going having gone jump bots... Placeholder moderator right at the start. Now, placeholder moderator is a good combination, but usually the opening is pyros. And that moderator should be just about toast. It is not way within range, escaping just away from everything else. Good thing the Kodachi was placed held, though. That placeholder did a really good job there. Not super obvious because the Kodachi did get away unscathed, but it did not support the Panther during that fight. That gave Marquis a lot of momentum. That allowed him to push North Chilean G away. North Chilean G would have otherwise probably dealt a fair amount of damage. The moderators would have been dead for sure. Like that Kodachi pretty much... Was, that was needed. That was totally needed. And Marquis kept them separated. Well done, Marquis. Power of the placeholder. Marquis also getting the economic advantage with the Northwest. Taking the Southwest as well. North Chilean G in the middle of their somewhat bizarre expansion pattern. Actually, no, they aborted the expansion pattern, took the southeast one, and that's it. That's all they took in the southeast. Haven't had they have taken the northeast, a welder to the northeast, so they aren't completely behind. Still a little bit of an odd setup. And Marquis defending the northwest because this is a bit of a choke point. Actually, I shouldn't say a bit of a choke point. It's a choke point. This is a good choke point to defend. I mean, otherwise, that is a free three or four metal extractors, like these three, and sometimes the one over here as well. Given that the main base doesn't have a whole lot of defenses, a Lotus and a Defender, and the, this metal extractor is actually out of range of the two if something comes around the back. This is going to be interesting. However, there is a bit of a momentum problem. The more North Chilean G gets units, the more they can spread out and approach the entire map at once leaving Marquis in a tough position. Marquis basically wants to be able to attack before North Chilean G is able to attack wherever they'd like. Because Marquis does not have that mobility. But Marquis, I think their bigger concern right now is energy. I mean, 17 energy, they're accessing metal, or very nearly accessing metal. Okay, now they're accessing metal for real. Yeah, this is not working out the way they'd like. North Chilean G, on top of their energy situation. They have not accessed metal yet. They are a little low in energy, but they should be fine. Could use a caretaker. But they are spending enough money right now, so it's not the biggest deal. Really, getting that power plant, that's the biggest thing they need to do. 
bit surprised they haven't put the welder on high priority up in the north. And this is what I mean by North Chilean G gets to move wherever they want. They get to pick their fights. Marquis has to respond, but they have to have kind of predicted the response. Like they have to know where they're planning to, where, that is, where North Chilean G was planning to go. What is Marquis' radar situation? Okay, Marquis has a pretty good radar situation at the moment. So it's not too problematic, but it's still a bit weird. They're going to have a hard time working with this. And moderators at least are help against the defenders. And look snazzy when they do so. If I do say so myself. Ah, uh, how is this going to work? The placeholder could be a major problem. It's reloaded. But are these units going to get in range? Because the, if the placeholder is in range... If the placeholder gets in range... That's... Ooh, not quite enough. Good shot, though. But that does leave them open... Should be another two seconds. North Chilean G basically can't attack with impunity. That placeholder is causing problems. However, you know, Scuttle coming in for, I guess, Reaper. Response to a potential Reaper. Bit of a bad read. Not anything of the sort so far. The commander's not really worth getting rid of right now. It's not a bad idea, but for all the things you could invest money into, another placeholder would probably be a good idea. And also more moderators. Placeholder moderator combo is not terrible. Doesn't look like anything's really been set up to counter it right now. There just aren't very many of them. Marquis has not invested a lot into military. They are getting it now. Getting one caretaker up, but that could take a while. And before the caretaker's up, battle's going to start over to the south, or at least North Chilean G moving to the south. Marquis is aware of this. They're fully aware of North Chilean G's movements, and the same actually apparently cannot be said of North Chilean G. That could be an error. No, it's a bit of an error. It's not, them. it's not showing it, but yes, they are aware. North Chilean G, totally aware of Marquis' rather small force. Marquis is aware of North Chilean G's ever-growing force. And Marquis right now still not really in a good position for construction. They do have more moderators coming in. They don't have more placeholders coming in. I don't know why I'm not seeing their factory. Oh, they do have them. Okay. But once again, the problem is one of positioning. Despite seeing where North Chilean G was going to attack, Marquis had not moved to respond, leaving the North wide open. These defenses will not hold. Two Lotuses and a Defender against this? The Vanishers alone will take them out. This will not hold. Like, Marquis is going to get hit hard, and they've been accessing metal for a while. They've been getting energy, but they don't have, or they barely have enough. They basically don't when you count in radar and a few other things. So they're way behind. Nice scuttle shot. Actually, oh, never mind. Scuttle was actually totally worth it there. That saved the day. I forgot Scuttle actually has a decent amount of splash to it. For some reason, I thought it was a bit more single target than it is, but no, that was that was wonderful. That worked for Marquis. They're in. They're not dead yet. And North Chilean G with the Reaper. Now that's where the Scuttle would be particularly useful. And another one is being built, so there we go. That's all set up then. Of course, the one thing is Marquis did have a lot of excess metal. They're, they have the production set up now, but so does North Chilean G and getting a fusion plant for the extra overdrive and the energy se security. I mean, they want to know. They have energy. They know they have energy. Well, they will anyway. North Chilean G is not accessing metal. I don't think they have excess metal at all this game. I've got to check the graphs at the end of the match, but I don't think they've had any issues with excess. Marquis, we have seen, has had issues. And once again, the jump bots over to the north while the heavy tanks go to the south. This would be a perfect time for a placeholder just to lock down this Reaper. Scuttle, take it out. I mean, oh, 550 cost to 850 cost. I mean, ideally, you'd get rid of it with moderators. But it would be still cost effective for the Scuttle to kill the Reaper. I mean, that Scuttle does not fear the Reaper in any sense of the word. But unfortunately, it is nowhere near it to demonstrate. At any rate, we need to keep an eye on that one, because that's going to be a big deal. And, hey! North Chilean G actually getting responded to! Marquis put their army in position. Not sure if that was just a read, though. I think they they would have seen the units come in. But, hey, that actually worked. Black holes are supposed to suck units in. They're supposed to trap units. I don't know what happened there. These units just ran right through that black hole. Didn't seem to make a difference at all. Okay, there we go. Now they're getting trapped, sort of. But, yeah, they... Ran by it. I don't know if there's a hitbox issue or something. It did not seem to catch them at all. You see other units get caught 
just at the edge of the particle effect, and they near the edge of the particle cloud, and they're getting caught in. And those units just ran straight by, straight through. Not sure what went on there. At any rate, bit of a slowdown. Bit of a roadblock there, and where is that scuttle? Scuttle over to the south. The Reaper has been spotted there, but it's not going to be killed. Went behind lines. Markeeves with a Firewalker. She's going to actually... Well, I guess there's this Defender line. And over to the south, yeah, okay, there's this Defender nest. There's the Firewalker target. Holy crap, there's going to be two shots, and that'll be it. Two salvos, and it's done. And Scuttle... Oh, I mean... Markeeves knows this is here. You gotta pay attention to that. North Chilean G with an airplane. Well, yeah, airplane plant. Airport coming up. Reaper coming in is like more and more Reapers. They have three so far. Fourth on the way. And these Reapers are prime targets for the Scuttle, but of course, only one of them is gonna die to the Scuttle. If that. At most, one of them is gonna die. Where's the placeholder, though? Are there no more placeholders? Hmm. I mean, at this point, the airplane plant is a really good build. North Chilean G with 45 metal. Okay, 45 42 is still pretty even. Markeeves, what are they spending it on? Getting the fusion plant, getting a bunch of jump bots out, getting a bunch of moderators out specifically. The Firewalker, why is it not going south, though? I don't understand that. Like, okay, I guess get rid of the Stinger, but that really reveals the Firewalker, and that's not the target of choice. Barely any damage dealt there. That would have shredded this Defender Nest. The Firewalker has just gone a little bit south. Defender Nest would have been taken care of. Like, I realize the Stinger's kind of scary, but these moderators would be able to take care of it in one salvo. Five of them would just one-shot it. That would be no problem at all. So I'm not quite sure what the motivation there was for the Firewalker. Definitely revealing it in the wrong spot. Bit of a shame there. North Chilean G, well aware of what's going to happen. What is their response? Actually, no planes yet. This would be a great time for a Raven. Just bomb out that Firewalker. Well, okay, that's a little bit too risky at the point. Because there are there are defenses around, the moderators are around. Would be a good time for a Pillager, though. I think. I'm actually not sure where the Pillager range is, come to think of it. Let's see. Range of 900, and of course there's a bit of a spread. As opposed to a range of 1180. Yeah, okay. It's probably on the edge of the fire, but it could work. Did a Reaper just kill itself? Just about. Sheesh. Risky move. They went way too close to that Stardust. Still, I don't get this caution. I really do not get the level of caution with the Stinger. Moderators would one-shot it. One of them would die in the process. Five of them would one-shot it. Not sure what the, mod what the motivation is. Do know what the motivation is for this, though. Not that there's anything to hit, but... I don't know why people are attacking where they're attacking in this game. I really don't. I mean, the Reapers... Okay, these Reapers don't know why they're attacking here, because there's nothing here. There's nothing in the way. North Chilean G has a complete royal road into Marquis' base. Totally. Get this attack. Don't get the Firewalker to the center. I get that. Okay, I get that one in the north. That's a known attack, but that's a known piece of army there. Just burn that up. Actually, are those moderators? They're gonna live. And there we go. That's those are the Phoenix attacks I was expecting. And now that this is open, these moderators could move in. I don't know why they aren't, or for that matter, why they're not moving back to deal with all this crap. Because these Reapers are well, they just took the Royal Road in, and that was it. And Mark used to let that open. Good job, North Chilean G. Took that match. I mean, that was that was clever positioning. They just attacked the right position. I don't understand why the Phoenixes attacked where they did, but I totally understand why the Reapers attacked where they did, and that was a good move. What I don't... Actually, although I gotta say, this little Thunderbird attack, not a bad idea. North Chilean G did have a bit of radar, but not a huge amount. So they probably didn't know fully whether or not there were units there. Not a bad idea to have the Thunderbird there as a bit of a preemptive strike. Might have been a bit of a better idea to keep one on standby for later, although admittedly there was one on standby. It would have gone back and repaired and so forth, but still. Worked out. What I don't get, though, is why Nor why Markeeves did not attack the Defender Nest to the south. Use like, use the moderators to get rid of the Stinger. Use the Firewalker to get rid of the Defenders to the south. Or maybe just attack to the north directly. Like, send a bunch of Pyros to the north. Burn down this area. 
to use the moderators and placeholders to hold the line in the center. Firewalk at the south. And that would have been basically a lot of e easy points to get in. But yeah, North Chilean G just... They used their mobility, and that mobility won them the game. That was it. That was what I mentioned before. That's the advantage that vehicles have, is they can pick their fights. They can go wherever they'd like, and North Chilean G did exactly that. Well done. And Mark I mean, good start. Gotta say, that was a really good start. Clever strategy with this, the jump bots. Just not sure if they quite realized how much they had to actually react to what their opponents were doing and be in place. Not even just react, kind of preemptively act. Kind of to basically predict where their opponents are going to be to an extent. Didn't quite see that as much as would have been necessary. Anyhow, that is going to be it for me tonight. So thank you all for watching and have a good night, everyone.